The black market is open. The black market is open. It wouldn't be a black market if we didn't have us a liquor store in there. <laughs> what, what's a black market without a liquor store in there? Come on, man. We got to have a liquor store. And when we get in there, we got to pick up some disbelief. Yes, you sir. know why? Because it's black owned. They got the dark skinned version and the light skinned version. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself to the people shopping in the black market today. Oh man, I'm Toriano Banks, man. AKA Big Beanie, man. Big Beanie. Yes, sir. I'm Ralph Golden, AKA Ralph, Ralph Golden. Golden. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph with an elf. With an elf. <laughs> with an elf. With an elf. That's what they used to call me. Yeah. Ralph with an elf. Ralph with an elf. Yes, sir. That was up, bro. <laughs> Man, we're just sitting here chopping up some games. So tell me how this came about. Oh man, disbelief. Uh, coming from the nightclub industry, man, uh, we realized we sold a lot of tequila. We had a lot of nightclubs, Memphis and Jackson, Jackson, Tennessee too, Ice Bar. That's out by his way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We were just chopping it up about that. See how he started smiling when he <laughs> said that shit. <laughs> Put Jackson on about boy, man. Man. his homeboy got yeah. the head to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, so, yeah. Um, we were selling a lot of tequila, so I pulled Ralph Cotel because I was doing a lot of bar work myself to kind of avoid theft. I had my own yeah, system. Yeah, yeah, shit, if they gonna steal it, yeah, I steal it myself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I can pocket it without him knowing. <laughs> so y'all been, y'all were business partners prior to all yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, well, what happened when I was in the music industry, I had a record label, Toriano Entertainment. Ralph was, uh, managing a lot of the artists. Bring it back. Yeah, and so mm -hmm. we, we need a, we need more black record labels. Yeah, I want so. you to come back when you started back, bro. Yeah, I mean, but that what I, what I realized being in the industry it was so people were so connected, you know, and it, it was it was like a sinkhole for me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I wasn't pulling no money back out of it, so I couldn't keep on just dumping money into it. You know, I, I, I had to do something else outside of it because if I was gonna do music, I had to do something to fuel that. And yeah. that's what made me get into the nightclub industry. Yeah. But in the process of that, Ralph used to manage the artists and he was so he was young and respectable and he was looking for that big brother figure. And I was looking for that little brother figure. And we linked up, man, and it was just magical because we started uh baseball rich clothing. Yeah. Which that was our parent company. We did that together and uh, when we were on the road one day, he was like, uh, bro, you remember you said you was gonna do baseball rich? He was like, I got something for you when we get back to the city. And he brought the logos and all that to the table, and we started the uh, baseball rich clothing. And we got brick and mortar stores and kind of ran it up, and then we drifted over into the nightclub industry. Kind of ran it up, and then recognized that tequila was the was going to be the thing that was going to get us rich, rich. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is. That right is. there, this right is there. it. Yeah, right, it. In right in your there. face. Right this there. the one. Yeah, there it sits. <laughs> mm -hmm. This believe tequila, man. Let's just look at it for a minute. Yeah, let's stir it down. Let's stir it down. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's lovely once they undress it. <laughs> Tell you. Yeah. yeah, bro, I like that <laughs> shit, bro. Baseball rich. Yeah, yeah, that, that name, that name in itself, disbelief, uh, came from people not actually believing in the vision. You know, we got to tell the people that we were gonna do disbelief, you know, uh, with tequila. You know, people that believe that, you know, yeah. two young black boys, they ain't, well, I ain't gonna say young, one young and one old. <laughs> yeah, you know, he real old. Y'all just, once now. you get grown, yeah, you just grow and you black. I'm glad to be old, you know, yeah. I'm eight, I'm eight. <laughs> A lot of people like, like, like wine, they don't prefer grape juice. So, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a, what you see women pick up? They pick the wine up. Don't nobody go to the club. No hey, what they start out with, though. Yeah, they start out with grape juice, though, right? They start out with That's how they know they ain't like it. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah, that, man. up with the wine, man. When the little old man. That's why I let my grape come out, bro. <laughs> old man gonna buy something. <laughs> <laughs> gonna buy something, man. They know. They know. <laughs> Papa got a few dollars. Got a few dollars. Granddad keeps the chain. OG got it, man. Yeah, he got a few dollars. <laughs> 
bought all this. I had all this shit I want. You <laughs> fucked up a few dollars with it. For sure. Disbelief. For sure, baby. I'm telling you. We off with the F, man. How you see it? You say how I see it? How you see it? As far as the tequila? Yeah, yeah coming sure. together. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was a it was a long process. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a lot of people, they see the final product, but they don't understand the process that we went through. That's the whole basis you of know, this, this black market. Yeah, absolutely. The process. You know, from the, we didn't have a way to import our alcohol. So when we got the license to import it, we didn't have a way to distribute it. So when we got the license to distribute it, yeah, the stores didn't want to carry us. You know, obviously because we were black. But we got one store to take a chance on us and we sold a thousand bottles in two days. But a seventy dollar product, all we had was the Reposado when we first launched. Thanks. You know, that one store took a chance on us. All the other stores, you know, they started to come on board after that. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't sell to them because we got fined two days later. Yeah, we got fined $108,000 because we was a license short. <clears throat> and didn't know it. We ain't know it. You know, mm -hmm. that's a learning curve. You know but not only that, we had 30 days to pay it or we was out of business. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, of course, we ain't out of business. Yeah. You know, somehow, some way, we managed it. Scrape up on that hundred and eight thousand dollars on the way it came from. But I would like to say is God is good. God is good. <laughs> Don't get me started talking about God. Now. You know how I get. God is the goodest. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on now. Yeah, so we yeah, we continued on from there, man. And it's been a it's been a journey, man. You know, we started with that one store, and of course now we in about 300 stores throughout the state of Tennessee. We're from Memphis to Knoxville now, mm -hmm. you know, independent. You know, that's us from inception, everything from the ground up, from the bottom making to the importing from China to Mexico, from importing from Mexico to the states. And now and, uh, we just launched in Illinois, been in Illinois about a month. A month. And, and mm -hmm. in that month's time, we in about 100 stores in Illinois. You know, so it's taking just over. Growing. It's just yeah. state to state. Yeah, it's state to state. We're going to do it. It's how we when y'all putting Georgia on the list, man? So Georgia we ain't getting now. That's why we, that's why yeah, we, yeah. we Kind of trying to shake some trees now and see what we can do up there. I got this lady who is a master negotiator. <laughs> if you need to take her with you, she round here. We heard of her. <laughs> she don't play. She ferocious. She don't leave no money on the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what's up, man. What advice would you give to somebody who might be watching this, who got the idea, who got the vision, who just hasn't had to follow through yet? Like some of the lessons that you learned, yeah, like you said, to avoid that hundred and eight thousand dollar fine. Like yeah, the game that you have, up. that's the difference between it being one of us and a few of us. Yeah, you got to check. You got to actually check behind the person. That checks behind the person. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Everybody got to have like you know earlier. I heard somebody saying, you know, you got one job, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was me. Yeah, yeah stick I know. To it. You know what I'm saying? Stick you got one it. job. So, but everybody got to have somebody. You got, we just got to do checks and balances through it. Mm -hmm. But then, but, you know, of course, me and Ralph made that mistake early on because we were virgins to it. You know, right. when you don't know, you don't know. You know what I mean? It was an expensive lesson, but I bet you that's one we won't make again. Right. But not only that, you know, we utilize our experience to help the next person out Absolutely. too. Yeah, so they ain't yeah. going to get fined $108,000. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to teach them what not to do. And, it, and, and it's just, you know, we don't, we don't build fences, we build longer tables. Everybody got to eat. So we try to, you know, we, we deal with a lot of black spirits and stuff now. We have, you know, different meetings and stuff like this. So we just try to... Don't tell know. them about the meeting. They, they don't know about the meetings. <laughs> they don't know about the meeting. Y'all got to tell me about them, though. Yeah, you got to let you know about the meetings. So, yeah. you know, but that's what it is. That's what we do, man. We're just trying to, you know, throw the rope back. You know, that's what we're trying to do, you know. And anything else about uh, under the line, y'all gonna roll out some more, some more oh, spirits? Yeah, yeah. for sure. We you know, we got the Ineo. Yeah. It's getting ready to launch. Uh, we're gonna do the vodka line. We're gonna do the seltzers. Of course, we got the smaller versions too, but like I say, we started off with just that one bottle right there. Right. With the real so we building as we go. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. go ahead and throw my idea out there. Oh, we got the, the multi-color ones too, you oh, know, yeah, to represent yeah. the baseball teams. Yeah. We got some signa uh, signature editions that we're doing as well, so. I got one I wanna throw out there. Okay. To market on that slept on. Mm -hmm. Straight granddaddy whiskey. Granddaddy Straight whiskey. Granddaddy whiskey. granddaddy whiskey, bro. You know that shit granddaddy drunk that nobody ain't really know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> and even if your grandma, but that's yeah. your granddaddy yeah. whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's catch it though. Yeah. Tell you, yeah, put a little lemon with it. You know. See, he already makes it flavors. That's how, <laughs> that's how you know the shit good. Yeah, put a little lemon with it, man. It's gonna help clear cold, man. 
I don't know what they would. My grandma used to put in the hot toddy, man, but that shit used to work. <laughs> that would give granddad a whiskey. That's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to tell you. you go Come to on, sleep, man. Put your thermos on, put your long johns on, man, and wake up the next day, you period like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No <laughs> hangover or nothing. Come from all that sweating. Yeah, come from the sweating. Yeah, it's that granddad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's, been, it's been one hell of a journey with that disbelief, though. You know what I'm saying? But I love it. I wouldn't change the stroke, man. I wouldn't change the stroke for real, not man. You know? So where can they find it at? Drop a few of them stores that y'all in, so the people who listening can pull up and, and well, see what we're talking about. Well, the thing about that is, it's, uh, we can't call. You know, in in Tennessee, the the laws are so strict. If you can't call three hundred stores, you can't, can't call, call one. one of them. Yeah. yeah. Or they gonna find. Or they gonna find you. So we can't. You know, it's, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. Do me a favor if you live in Tennessee. Drive around until you find this. <laughs> and then hit me back and let me know where you found it at. Because I don't live in fucking Tennessee. And whoever made up that shit, <laughs> boy, y'all got some crazy ass laws in Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, you, hey, we got, I'm telling you, they, the uh, Alcohol Bears Commission, they hollered at us early about that. Yeah. Put, they knew y'all was coming here. Man, it, it'll be our luck. They'd be like, hey, man, congratulations on the 85 South Show. Oh, hey, we got let 80, me, let we got me drop some legal for you then. You. Everyone who drank the tequila here at the 85 South Show was is of age. We checked IDs. Everybody poured their own. We These are all adults who who lined up and did made their own decisions. We do not condone any type of... Violations over here at the 85 South Show. We are yeah. Second Amendment believing gun toting red blooded Americans over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let That's me how you got to say it to let your white road. friends know. I'm, get it. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a fan, man. Word? I'm a real fan. Now that's man. real I'm right there. Just go ahead and just put that out there, man. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan, bro. Now like, I appreciate it. And I'm honored, man. To be, I'm straight, like, straight up. Yeah. I'm a motherfucking fan, bro. Thank you. Yeah, straight up, man. So I'm glad to be here talking to you and sharing my story with you, man. You know what I mean? But I'm a goddamn fan, man. Thank you, man. Fuck now, me, you know man. when you ring that bell, yeah, fuck me right there. I'm it means everybody got a drink. Oh, well, fuck <laughs> you. Get them fuck up there. <laughs> Get everybody yeah. toe up in here, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. We out here, this is exactly what this platform is created for, though, man, is to let people know that we out here in multiple industries. We doing way more than, you know, illegal shit. We out here yeah, really so. trying so. to take over the business corner of the world. Like. Yeah, we can have Mexican plugs and not on the other shit. We no, need no, Mexican no, plugs Mexican on plug. every fucking yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want it to just be for the wrong no, shit. Right. Plugged out over there now. Man. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, we got Mexican plugs and not just on that other shit, man. So, yeah, that's a real Mexican plug right there. Yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah, out to yeah. all the all the Hispanic people that's, yeah. you know, bridging the gap. Yeah, for real. Appreciate that all my oil yeas, man. That's why they trying to goddamn build that fence. They don't want us to start linking up. We fuck around and learn Spanish. We out of here. Mm-hmm. Say, <laughs> so we'll be the one crossing over. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. We might need to go down there. Yeah. I mean, that's what we had to do. Yeah. We, were, we were over there for a while. For real? To, uh, yeah. We had to get the uh, consistency of this right. You See, know a lot saying? of people don't know the only place you can legally make tequila in is in Mexico. It's a place called Tequila, Mexico. Yeah. Yeah, you can't make it in the U.S. Nah, you gotta come across that border. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a whole nother, that sound like a whole nother industry right there, my yeah. guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta go over there and do your thing, man. You know what I mean? It's who you know at that point. And uh, if you don't know the right person, might not make it back. <laughs> hey, <laughs> the chances you have to yeah, take, man. Yeah, you might not make it back. You know how I get when you cross that border, man. Things yeah. get crazy. You know, they have wars over there. Hell so, yeah. You know, it's, just, it's just who you know. So um, well, I'm glad you know the right people, man. Yeah, cause... I'm back. I made it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just dope as hell, man. Yeah. Black owned. Uh, but that, that's not the first bottle either. Yeah. Uh, the first disbelief bottle, it was a baseball too, mm. but it was a fucked up drawing <laughs> that uh, you know, when me and Rap were sitting there discussing the concept, he was drawing the pitch. Rap so, fucked it up? Yeah, Rap fucked it up. I mean, the drawing part, uh, the they drawing got the concept. Yeah, they, no, no, they didn't because when we, the first bottle <laughs> looked like a fucking Christmas on it. It um, did. Yeah, we, we fucked off a lot of money. A lot of again. money on that. You should have yeah. sold them anyway. Couldn't, mm-hmm. couldn't because society's image based. If we sit that fucking ornament up there, 
they gonna yeah. buy it at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I would have waited till Christmas. He <laughs> sold all the motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, so we uh, gave him out his Christmas present. Yeah, we, Fuck we changed it. that. We uh, of course it was, it was a baseball too, but it didn't look like a baseball. It yeah. actually looked like a one. Of the then you know that one looked like the baseball being hit too. Yeah, because it, it had a little dent in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then, then we, we came out with that one. You know, we designed that one. Got some more people to do that one and. Uh, it actually came out looking like a real baseball. That was the idea from the start. Well, y'all got a website where people can check the product out? Or can yeah. you not say that in Tennessee? No, we can say nah, that. we can say that now. That ain't illegal. <laughs> they can go to disbeliefspirits.com or disbelieftequila.com. Okay. Mm-hmm. So say somebody had a liquor store, right, and they wanted to order some, they can do that on the website? Oh, uh, they had to go through the distributor. We actually transitioning because we're at a point now it's where all the distributors, they want to carry the product. Yeah. You know what that means. Yeah. More money. Oh, absolutely. Ain't no mystery. Shit. Ain't no mystery, yeah, man. It's just, yeah, it's, it's nice money, too. Mm-hmm. Nice and money you too. get it at one time. Get we ain't got to chase all time. these stores down. Yeah, yeah. Get it out one big check. That's yeah. what I love, bro. Yeah. We got a streak going, bro. Everybody who done been in here today been talking about how you... Get that money and keep it going. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, yeah. Might fuck around and be some black billionaires creeping around through here. Act like you know me. <laughs> <laughs> Act like you know me. Well, look, man, this is what we gonna do. We gonna do our part, and I know everybody out there watching, we got a whole bunch of liquor drinkers who watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, if you wanna really get the full effect of what we talking about, man, go grab you both of these and mix them. (laughs) (laughs) Hey man, I appreciate y'all stopping through here. Shit, keep doing your thing. Disbelief. Yes, sir. Look at the spirits. The black market liquor store is open. (laughs) Ain't about to drink.